welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some prepping for that nasty little virus that's coming back full force it seems like. I know in my community our cases are just increasing pretty rapidly. We're such a small community but I don't know. I, I just want to be prepared just in case. We never have had that nasty little virus. Our family, we've, we've stayed healthy and safe. Some of us have decided to be vaccinated. Some of us have not. And that's fine either way. I mean, everyone needs to be comfortable with their decisions. So my point today, we're just going to, I'm going to put some things in place. I'm going to try to be, be prepared just in case. And it doesn't have to be this nasty little virus. Um, it could be the flu. I was sick, really sick last month, and it was not. It wasn't the nasty little virus. My doctor did an antibody uh, blood work, blood test on me, and I, I don't have antibodies, so I did not have that. And I was just sure I did because I was so sick. So you could be sick with anything, you know, and it could take you out for a while. So that's what my purpose is today. I'm going to do some things I can do to prepare, to be prepared. I know our family is, we're taking <clears throat> multivitamins. We've added an extra vitamin C and vitamin D. I take my multivitamin and then four to six hours later, I will take vitamin C and vitamin D. That boosts your immune system. We're trying to get plenty of rest. That's hard for me because I don't sleep well. Some nights I don't sleep at all. Um... So those are things that are important to do for your, for your health. But um, then there's that just in case someone gets sick. So today what we're gonna do is make some homemade chicken broth. Um, any kind of respiratory illness, um, warm broth is very good for your, for your sinuses as well. The steam and the warmth, it's, it's nourishing, it's comforting, and it's, it's helpful in the healing process. So. I'm going to make some homemade chicken broth and get that in. I'm going to package it in serving size freezer bags and put that in the freezer. And then I'm going to freezer cook two meals that I feel like might be good if a person is not feeling well. There's some things that, that I don't know, some foods you don't want to eat when you're sick. You just don't feel like eating tacos or chili. You know what I mean? But um, chicken and dressing casserole, I make my homemade dressing and then I will uh, put chicken. I'll shred chicken from my chicken broth. The chicken that I boil for my broth, I will take it off the bones and shred it. And we'll put that in our chicken and dressing casserole and freeze those. And also I'm going to make a chicken and rice casserole and get those in the freezer as well. So by having some meals in the freezer so that I don't have to cook or if I'm not able to cook <clears throat> or even if someone else in the household is sick, those would be meals that they might enjoy Eating. while they're not feeling well. Also, I keep Jello in my cabinet. I keep Gatorade to replenish electrolytes that might be lost in case a person is throwing up or has diarrhea. You need to be sure you replace your fluids and your electrolytes. So those are some things that I've done. Besides the medications, the over-the-counter medications that we've been told would be helpful, I keep Delsim for cough, I keep Mucinex, of course Tylenol, Ibuprofen, cough drops, Airborne. Um, that's a warm drink that you would drink. It has extra immune boosters in it. I can't think if there's anything else. Today, I just wanted to get some meals in my freezer. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna turn my camera down. I think I've done chicken broth on my channel before, but I'm gonna just take you along. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put an onion, two stalks of celery. I keep my celery in these handy little airtight containers in my fridge. And I also will put some fresh carrots. So, and today I did not have chi whole chickens in my freezer. I used those last week on, a, on another cooking project. But um, I'm gonna use, I've got a large flat of chicken legs. So I'm gonna use chicken legs for my broth. They have they will make a good broth as well. You want chicken pieces that have bones in them and the skin on because that's what creates the, the, good, the good broth. So that's what we'll be doing. I'm gonna turn my camera down so you can see me chopping. 
then we'll, we'll put it together and get it on the stove cooking while my chicken broth cooks because I will probably let it cook for a couple hours. While that's going, I'm gonna have to do my dishes from last night. Yeah, my kitchen's a mess right now. You just can't see my mess. <laughs> but I came home, I literally, I just crashed last night. I had no energy, I just, nope, I couldn't do it. So now today I get the joy of cleaning up my kitchen that should have been cleaned up last night. So while my chicken broth is going, I will be doing my dishes, cleaning up my kitchen. And also I'll, I'll do some food prep for the casseroles. I'll have to cook uh, two cups of rice, I'll cook that and I will tear up two loaves of bread for the dressing and I'll have vegetables to chop for the dressing and the chicken and rice casserole as well. So I'll just be bringing you guys along. We'll just kind of pop in and out as I'm doing all of those activities. So anyway, right now let's get busy chopping our vegetables for our broth. stock pot with chicken legs. I don't know how many. There's a lot in there though. And my vegetables. I chopped onions, celery, and carrots. I did a big chop. Didn't chop them fine because I'm going to strain them when I when they're done anyway. I'll strain the broth to get all of the you know vegetables and stuff out. So there's my chicken onion, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna cover with water, add salt and pepper, and it'll be simmering on the stove for a couple of hours. So I think our chicken broth is done. Smells wonderful. So I have my bread torn up. We need to saute some onion and celery, which I have right here. I will get some butter out and go ahead and get these sauteed. And then we'll put our casserole together. Okay, I'm back. Our chicken broth is done. Our chicken legs are cooling but I thought I'd go ahead and mix up the dressing. I have two loaves of white bread that I tore up earlier in my big bowl. I have my onion and celery that I sauteed in about a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna add that now, okay. Now I'm gonna add chicken broth and I'm using store bought chicken broth because it is going to expire. Well, it doesn't expire, but the best if used by date is September of 21. So I want to use it rather than waste it. So I'm going to get this opened. And I'm not sure how much it'll take. I like for my bread to get really, really moist. We're going to open another one. Each one of these is four cups or 32 ounces. So, all right, let me see here. There's eight cups of broth. All right, so I'm going to take probably three eggs for this amount. I'll use three eggs. Here's three eggs. 
and I have a whisk. I'm just going to whisk these up, get them roughly mixed. Add that. Okay, so with the eggs, and I'm not sure that I do want extra broth. Yeah, I think this is about right. All of the bread is soaked, and when I push down with my spoon, you can see liquid pooling. So that, that tells me that there's plenty of liquid in this recipe. So now I'm gonna add salt, and I don't know how much. I just give it a good shake across the surface. Maybe, two, maybe a teaspoon of salt. Pepper, of course. Just a light sprinkle, maybe half teaspoon. And poultry seasoning, just a tad, like maybe a fourth teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And then sage. Sage, I give it a good sprinkle, maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half, maybe more. All right, now I'm gonna mix this up well. You can smell it, it smells good. So, all right. Okay, so I've got my chicken in my dressing now. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And I've decided to have some of this for supper tonight. And the rest will go in the freezer. I also have my rice cooking on the stove in preparation for my chicken rice casserole. I have a nine by nine that I sprayed with Pam. So I will pour some of it in there. All right, so this will be dinner tonight. Actually, I told Brent what I was doing. He called on his way home from work and I told him what I was doing and he's like, oh, that sounds so good. Can we have some for dinner? So there's our baking dish with our chicken and dressing in it. And the rest will go in the freezer bag. And I'm thinking I will probably get two freezer bags always 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 label your freezer bags with what you have inside because at the time you may think oh i will remember that but then when it's in the freezer with everything else that's in the freezer sometimes it's hard to remember what you put in there so i've done that i've gone to the freezer and i thought what in the world so now i label my bags yes i do all right, so let's get, let's fill up this bag. Of course you can freeze your casseroles in any, you can freeze it in a casserole dish, however you prefer. I prefer the Ziploc freezer bags because you can freeze it completely flat and it takes up so much less room in your freezer. So that's my preferred freezer container. You need to put them on cookie sheets so they will freeze flat. If you don't, they will conform to the shape of whatever they are around in that freezer and you might not be able to get it off. <laughs> so I learned that lesson as well. I squeeze all the air out as much as possible you don't want to freeze air with your food all right and I will lay that flat on a cookie sheet and it will be ready for the freezer so I'm back we're gonna saute these onions in about a fourth a cup of butter to get started on our chicken and rice casserole my husband is using the weed eater so I hope you cannot hear that, it's very loud. So I apologize if it's annoying. The, 
the stock pot, you can't see, but my stock pot is almost three fourths of the way full of broth. I'm very excited about that. We're gonna saute the onions just until they're translucent. And I'm out of milk. So I used um, Gossner's milk. I used this in a recipe last night and I like it just fine. I'll be using it tonight as well. I'm gonna sprinkle about two tablespoons of flour on top of this. And that will thicken, thicken your butter. All right, that's looking nice. So now we're gonna put about a cup of chicken broth. Okay. And about a cup and a half of milk. you cooking and stirring until the lumps are all smoothed out. We're also going to add about three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt at this point and a good sprinkle of pepper. All right. So when this sauce is thick and smooth, we will add our rice and chicken. Okay, turning the burner off, and I'm gonna add my rice. There's two cups of raw rice, which when it's cooked, that will equal three cups. So I'm putting all of the rice in, as well as three cups of cooked chicken. And then I'm gonna let it cool and bag it up to go to the freezer. Okay, I'm back with my chicken and rice casserole. I put the chicken in and I'm ready to bag it up. I've labeled my freezer bags with the date and the contents. So let's go ahead and put these bags loaded up. I will include both recipes in the description below. So be sure and check that out and see if that might be something your family would enjoy. Once again, we're gonna Squeeze out as much of the air as we can. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm back again. What a busy day we've had together, haven't we? I've got two um, meals of chicken and dressing casserole in the freezer, and I've got two meals of chicken and rice casserole in the freezer, and a whole stock pot about three-fourths of the way full of homemade chicken broth. I have labeled my bags and put the date on them. And I'm gonna dip it up, seal them off, and get them ready to go into the freezer. Hey guys, I'm back for one final time. I just wanted to let you all know that um, after all of our work this afternoon, I got two meals of the chicken and dressing casserole in the freezer, two meals of the chicken and rice casserole in the freezer, as well as 12 quart size bags of homemade chicken broth in the freezer. So what a productive day. I love freezer meals. Even though it's a little bit of work when you're doing it, now I have those meals in my freezer and I have the confidence to know that if I get sick, or if anyone in my family gets sick, I have food in my freezer that will be good for someone to, to be able to have if they're not well. The warm broth, the dressing casserole, the chicken and rice casserole, I have jello in my cabinet, I have Gatorade and Sprite and various canned soups. 
So yeah, I feel good about the, the day that I've had. It's been busy, but it feels good to have that done. So I'm going to say good night and hope you all are having a great week and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.